It's my privilege and pleasure today to read the word to start our day. We invite the Holy Spirit here today. We invite all of us to come as humbly and as boldly as we know how to, to the throne room of grace and mercy in Jesus' name. And in Psalm 61, it says, the security is in God or the choir director on string instruments of David. God, hear my cry, pay attention to my prayer. I call you from the ends of the earth. When my heart is without strength, lead me to the rock that is higher and above me. For when you have been a refuge for me, a strong tower in the face of the enemy, I will dwell in your tent forever and I will take refuge under the shelter of your wings, Selah, and I will take reference, refuge under the shelter of your wings. God, you have heard my vows, and you have given a heritage to those who fear your name. Add days to the king's life. May their years span many generations. May he sit enthroned before God forever. Appoint faithful love and truth to guard him. Then I will continually sing of your name, fulfilling my vows day by day. I will continually ask, Father God, that you would add a blessing to the reading of the word. It is an honor and a privilege in Jesus' name. Father God, we just thank you. We thank you that you are good. We thank you that you are kind. We thank you that you never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you, Lord, that you are our God and our King and our Lord. There's no God like you. We just bless you and give you glory today. I just want I was reminded while we were worshiping today that, you know, when you're up against a Red Sea, what do we do? We reach out to God, right, and say, what am I going to do, Lord? And God, he said, he's, he's thinking about us all the time. And he will open up our Red Sea if we have faith and patience. Faith and patience, we receive the promise. I know faith, everybody's got faith, right? But what about patience? Patience will inherit the promise. And we can fast, we can, we can fast, we can pray, we can give. There's only, there's only three things we can do to make something move. And God will be faithful because he's, he's a man that won't lie. And when, we're, when our country is up against huge battle, battles everywhere, what we do, what are we supposed to do? We can fast, we can pray, we can give. We trust the Lord because by faith and patience do we receive the promise. And God's battle is his, but we have our part too. We have to keep coming out of that same old circle that we're in. Keep going round and round that same old mountain, trying to figure out how to get out. We have to exit. Stop doing the same thing the same way and expecting different results. We need to stop in, in the insanity role. Try like the, like the Pharisees. He said he didn't want us praying those same old prayers. We have to stop and look up and ask God, for wisdom because every problem is a wisdom problem and this week was rough for me because I went to two funerals I don't know when you know I'm so so reminded when I go to funerals that tomorrow is not promised and we really have a mandate from God every single day to do the best job we can to fulfill his plan the best way we can and know that tomorrow is not promised we run our own race not everybody else's race we just depend on God, trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. We declare and decree trusting in the Lord for the body of Christ today. We declare and decree that the people of God will stand up and call you blessed, Lord. That we will stop leaning on our own understanding, Holy Spirit. Do what you do best. Be released into this earth to, to help our uh, the body of Christ to be without spot and without wrinkle and stop running their own lives. We know we have a real God in the days of old. He would open up the earth and swallow them up. 
that came against him. He had many, many challenges in the Old Testament, and he took care of it right now. Just because we're in grace doesn't mean that God isn't on the throne. And just because we're in grace and we can say we're sorry doesn't mean that God isn't still keeping records. We are record keepers, and God forgive us. We need to not keep people's records. We just need to trust in the Lord and put all of our cares on God, and He will direct our path. And asking for wisdom in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Amen.